you got a young baby, the chances are you didn't get that much sleep last night. Mm, you're not alone either. A new survey suggests almost half of parents of little ones are suffering because of a severe lack of sleep. Lucy Watson's been checking out some new gadgets that might just help at the baby show in Birmingham. Well, this is Britain's biggest event for babies. There are hundreds of thousands of gizmos and gadgets. These are reusable nappies, so very environmentally friendly and very easy to wash, apparently. Now, Ali is the show's director. Ali, what's this one? This is a pudge tub come over from the US, very innovative. You can put it in the bath, in the sink, and hang it up to dry so it afterwards. Moulds to any kind of. Absolutely, moulds to any type of child. Then we've also got the trunky, which I is like really, these. It's really fun, isn't it? It's designed to look like wheel an animal. Along. You wheel them along, and it's a travel accoutrement all rolled into one. Wonderful, thank you very much, Ali. Now we've also got some very brightly coloured, all singing and dancing things over here. This is called the Happy Hopper. And this is um, Bounce Time Turtle, which, which sings and has a bit of a spring as well. This is one of my favourites, though. This is Ewan, the sheep. And actually what it does, it lulls you off to sleep because it makes the noise of, of the womb. It replicates those sounds. Now, this is Sarah. Sarah, you've got some sleep tricks for me. Go on, what are these? This is Momo the monkey sleep training uh, alarm clock. Uh, so the child knows when they can get out of bed, when his eyes open. And when his eyes are shut, they need to stay in bed for a bit longer. So, it's, so it really gets them into a routine then? Yeah, gets them into a great sleep time and routine. And what's this little character that we've got here? This is Gus the turtle. He's a lovely little nightlight. We um, can't quite see him because it's so bright, but he yeah. like, gives off a nice warm glow. A really warm glow and stays on for 10 to 20 or 30 minutes um, and really easy for the child just to press and keep in their bed with them. Lovely, so thank you very much for chatting Sarah. Thank we've also you. got some traditional prams over here and we've got some mums, some new mums, Liddy and Hayley, who've been testing out a few products um, all to do with sleep and getting their babies into a nice routine. Now, Freddie here um, with his mum Hayley has been trying out this, this kind of cruiser which replicates the kind of feeling of going in a car and the sounds. What do you think of this Hayley? Yeah, he seems to like it. Um, he's only four weeks old and he seems to be filling, filling it already so I don't know how much sort of where you'd get out of it which would um, probably stop me from, from purchasing one. But, um, He's doing the job at the moment. But in principle, he seems <laughs> yes. quite happy, doesn't he? He's even got um, a rear view mirror there. Yes. <laughs> Liddy, you, you had a little look at the, the yeah. snooze shade, yeah. which obviously is kind of like a blackout to let the baby yeah. sleep better. What, what do you make of it? I definitely like the idea. Um, it just feels a little bit thick, and I know it's meant to be breathable, but I would be a bit concerned that she might overheat in there or, or something. But I do like the idea that you can have a little... You can, you can have a, a little, little peek inside and check there. that she's yeah. all right, yeah. can't you? So I do like the idea. Yeah, Lovely. Well, she seems to be dozing off quite nicely know, there, doesn't she, Asha? Well, behaved. well <laughs> the show opens its doors at 9.30 today. It's on all weekend until Sunday at about 5 o'clock when it finally shuts its doors. But these are the verdicts from mums and babies in the know.